all right what's going on guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the preseason testing episode that we had uh there's a little bit of uh glitching there going on with uh, dan tictum but um we're gonna be hopping right into the qualifying uh we had a couple upgrades if you guys didn't notice before i probably didn't show them um to kind of help out so that's why uh, dan tictum showed so high in the practice so uh hopefully we will do uh pretty good in qualifying we're hoping for top 15 get out of q1 but uh we'll have to wait and see how it goes so uh we'll see you back on the track All right, so we're going to go ahead and double check that we have our setup for the load here. I'm taking a little bit of load because of all the stuff that we're using. So uh, custom setup, we are set up and we're going to go ahead and hop out uh, onto the track and get for Q1. So what we're going to do, basically we're going to do what we did in F121. We're going to use our set of soft tires. We're going to do a two lap run and then swap to a new set of soft tires for uh, the end of Q1 and see if we can get through. So uh, let's get out there. All right, so we ran our first time. It was a 133. We got three minutes to go. So uh, we have some time to catch up to uh, Dan Tictum here as he got P11. So we're going to try to get out of Q1. So uh, we're going to hop out. We're going to hop right back out onto the track.
All right, so we start out P17. Not as great as we thought it would be, but uh, we got some work to do. I'm getting used to this car, so uh, let me go ahead and skip through this here, and um, we'll see you guys at the race. of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season welcome along then to round one of this year's formula one world championship formula one returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and it could be a strategic race this one with sakia notorious for eating up the rear tires Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Verstappen, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Russell, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Ricardo and Kevin Magnussen, Bottas, Joe, Pierre Gasly and Ticton, Mick Schumacher, Albon, Johnson and Yuki Tsunoda, Stroll, Norris, Latifi and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. All right, lineup's looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and go through our race strategy here and get this formation lap going. So, uh, yeah. Let going to be going from mediums to uh, hards. Only a few hundreds of a second's knocked off there. So we're going to go ahead and drop our fuel load just in case of a, a yellow flag there um, in, a, in a safety car. So... That's going to be it for our um, rat race strategy and uh, on to the formation lap. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that first formation lap. We have our five red lights of the first new season of 22, and we are off. Everyone's off to a pretty good start. Our times are coming up on the board. Yuki Tsunoda moves on the right side as uh, we're moving up to the first turn. Uh, very big pile up. A lot of people going three wide on this turn. We're making a move on the inside against Alfa Romeo of Alfa Bottas and Joe Granu. And up next, J Dan Tickton here is our teammate. Uh, getting caught between Valtteri Bottas and Joe Granu. Going to be coming along the first straight. We have the uh, Pierre Gasly and Daniel Ricciardo fighting for a position on the inside of the turn. And um, we have managed to make a move against Alfa Romeo. Joe Granu going on the inside there. You can see him in the mirror. And um, yeah, we're starting to single file here as we come to turn 10, turn 11. And uh, we're feeling pretty good about these tires. Uh, we tried to get more traction, tried to do a burnout, but we do have our traction control on. So we uh, won't be able to do that uh, as I'm still learning to uh, drive with the traction control. We have Joe Granu moving on the inside, trying to move here. 
Uh, we hold the outside line, we kind of push him too far on the inside so he has to back off here. Trying to close in on Pierre Gasly as we try to find our racing line. Going to be transitioning back over to the start, on board with our teammate Dan Tickton. Moving on the inside, you can see Pierre Gasly making a move on Valtteri Bottas. You can see myself moving to the inside. Dan Tickton choosing the outside lane behind both of the Alfa Romeos. Mike McShumacher trying to make a move on him. You can see us there on the inside lane there. Making our move in front of the Alfa Romeo of Joe Granu. You can see the McLaren and the Alpha Tauri up there on the inside as Joe Granu locks up, moves to the inside, tries to make a move on us. Moving Godfrey Badass slotted back into P14 as we come to this downhill section. And that's going to round out basically the first lap as Charles Leclerc leaps, Carlos Sainz close behind, with Sergio Perez and the Red Bull rounding out P3. Moving on to the start of lap two. Still trying to close that position against Pierre Gasly in P11. Um, our goal basically is to get into the top 10 for these points for our debut race here. As uh, we have about a second and a half second lead on Joe Grand Yu and Dan Tictum. Moving on towards the end of lap three, it's going to be our first DNF of Alexander Albon in the Williams. Uh, you can see the smoke coming up here. And um, the Haas of Mick Schumacher coming up. And um, I think there's a brake issue there. We'll have the onboard with Mick Schumacher. As uh, you can see the smoke from the Williams. He's moving in. And it seems like the Williams didn't really apply any brakes here as he pulls off to the side. McLaren, uh, Landa Norris making his way through as Mick Schumacher comes into the pits for a new front wing. That's that in turn is going to be starting our first red flag on lap four and um nobody comes in for a pit except for mick schumacher alexander albon is out for the uh, debut race of this season uh with a mechanical failure we're going to be slotting into p12 and p13 in front of dan tickton here on lap six as we're uh waiting for the pace car to go back in it's going to be going back in to start lap seven and uh, around this last corner, uh, we're kind of a little bit off guard. We were going to floor it, but we were going to come into the back of here. Gasly, so we had to let off, and that basically creates a gap here on uh, lap seven. So, a little bit of ground to make up on the restart as we were caught off guard. As you can see, I believe Yuki Sonoda trying to make a move on Joe Grandu. We're going to be coming up behind Kevin Magnuson here, Daniel Ricardo as we make a move on Pierre Gasly. And the, um, the McLaren of Daniel Ricardo, he basically gets in our way. We're coming up a little bit too hot here. Uh, not enough to lock up though, but uh, still trying to get used to this racing line here with his car on his mediums as they um, start to deteriorate with the um the yellow flag a couple bits of debris there going around as uh, you can see nicholas latifi dropping back down as uh, sebastian vettel moves up to p19 uh it seems like nicholas latifi is fighting for position against Mick schumacher there at the very back of the pack moving on to lap eight we are fighting for position against daniel ricardo and trying to hold our position against pierre gasly as he's trying to make a move on the inside he does manage to move against both of us uh, as myself and Daniel Ricardo. We get pushed to the outside a little bit here. Daniel Ricardo gets stuck in between us as uh, we we'll hold the outside line and we end up going three wide into the uh, turn before this downhill section. And uh, we manage to re hold our position against Pierre Gasly and Daniel Ricardo slotting into P10. As you can see, uh, Yuki Sonoda trying to put some pressure on Daniel Ricardo now. Moving on to lap 13, we still have this fight against Pierre Gasly and Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo is still closing in on us as Pierre Gasly um, dropped back a little bit. 
with uh, Yuki Sonoda close behind him. It's, um, we're moving in towards this downhill section. Daniel Ricardo closes in. You can see him in the mirrors here as uh, we try to keep to our racing line as best as possible. We're going to be coming in on this lap as uh, we're trying to hold our position against Daniel Ricardo. We're not sure what he's going to be doing here. But uh, so far in this race, I know for a fact that our fight has been with Alpha Tauri, Alpha Romeo, and the uh, McLaren of Daniel Ricardo. So uh, some pretty early rivalries to choose from here. But um, trying to hold our position currently against Daniel Ricardo for, I believe, four points here for P8. So holding our line as best as possible. You can see Daniel Ricardo there. So about just under half a second behind us. He's gaining on us a little bit. But um, where it counts on the uh, corners as uh, we don't have that much engine power under, under this hood for this car. As we go into the pits, but we're not the only ones to go into the pits. We have Daniel Ricardo, I believe Pierre Gasly, and then I believe another one of um, Joe Grand Yu. Yes, uh, Joe Grand Yu, myself, Daniel Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen, we all come into the pits for our single pit stop. Where goes Fernando Alonso in the Alpine? And then we finally come out of the pits. We actually hit a good time for our pit stop. And we end up coming out in front of Daniel Ricardo, which is always good as we uh, start lap 14 on cold hards. And uh, a little bit of time to get used to the cold hards. I try to heat up, I try to heat them up as best as possible here. As um, we come back out onto the track, uh, Daniel Ricardo is a ways back there as he's trying to get used to his hards. As uh, we come to the downhill section here. Hitting these curves, trying to get some uh, more wear and tear into these tires without trying to spin out. You can see the Alpine uh, Fernando Alonso there. As the McLarens are close behind, as well as the Haas of Kevin Magnussen in P14. Dan Tickton has still yet to pit, so he's sitting up there in P6 behind Yuki Tsunoda, who also has not pit yet. Uh, so they're sitting up there pretty high for points, but we are only halfway through this race. Moving on to lap 14, we have an onboard from Daniel Ricardo. He ends up going wide on his uh, one lap old tires. Or not even a lap old tires. He um, ends up running it wide and uh, flat, basically hitting on the brakes too hard. So uh, we regain that position against Daniel Ricardo. And um, still trying to get close that seven second gap on Fernando Alonso as we still hold our position of uh, about a half a second in front of Daniel Ricardo. Azuki Sonona and Dan Tictum finally come in for their pits on lap 15. I believe they both went to the hard compound tires as well. A lot of people started on the medium compound. And those of them um, who started on the hard compound um, are still running in the race. So I believe uh, Fernando Alonso, George Russell, Lance Stoll, Sebastian Vettel, um, Sebastian Vettel, Lance Stroll, I believe those guys are still on their hearts from the start of the race because they started in the back. Especially Sebastian Vettel there, currently in P3, and he started in last place in 22nd. So that's a big change for him running those hearts. So we're kind of expecting to see where he's going to end up with those uh, that pit stop, maybe to the hearts. Another on board from Daniel Ricardo on lap 18. We end up spinning out on these tires. We hit the curb a little bit too much. Daniel Ricardo capitalizes on this move, moves on the inside as uh, we fight to defend our position here, trying to hold on the outside, give him the space we can. Um, we ended up pushing him a little bit too far on the inside and he dropped back, but he still manages to hold that position here as we come to the uh, back straight. Uh, closing in on him, trying to get that toe here as DRS is still active because the yellow flag was at the beginning of the race. Yuki Sonoda just over a half second behind us, but uh, that's not our worry right now. We're trying to attack Daniel Ricardo as best as possible here and uh, getting the DRS as well on Daniel Ricardo. Try to make a move on the inside, but uh, there's not enough room between us. So we're going to go ahead and follow his racing line, and he locks up. We move around the inside as he locks up, uh, putting a lot of pressure on Daniel Ricardo here as he drops back in the mirror. 
And uh, we regain our position of P8. Moving on to the final lap of the race, we are still under pressure by Daniel Mercado as uh, basically positions are slotted in here. Um, there isn't that enough time to catch up to George Russell, who is now P7. But uh, our chance right now is to defend our position against Daniel Mercado. It's a uh, very vulnerable position right now. Um, P8 will get us four points. P9 will get us two points. As we're fighting for points against Daniel Mercado, Yuki Sonoda is pretty much solid in P10 against Dan Tictum, who is just outside of those points, about five seconds behind Yuki Sonoda. As we round out the final corners here, pulling as best as we can against Daniel Mercado, he's still about a half second up. You can see him getting closer and closer in those mirrors as we come around this final corner and we solidify our position in the first race in P8. achieve this success I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament they were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy and to stay out of trouble Winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. All right, sorry about the extra cut there, guys, but uh. This is actually the fifth time that I've recorded this race, but um, the first time I've actually been able to completely finish it, so I'm kind of glad. So uh, the stuttering and the latency at the end there with the uh, Park Ferme and the um, podium finish, it's, um, I'm working on it. I'm trying to tweak my settings to get him to get him to work. I finally got my OBS to work. Um, but yeah, debut race for uh, Unity Motorsports. I managed to get up into P8 uh, with a couple dive bombs there and some pretty good fights against Daniel Ricardo. And then uh, Dan Tictum <laughs> gained three positions. Uh, did pretty good. He uh, did pretty good. Um, there was an early yellow flag, which I was not expecting. Uh, I was expecting it to be later. Uh, but yeah, uh, very unfortunate for, um, Alexander Albon, uh, getting a DNF there at the, uh, beginning of the race, causing the yellow flag. So, uh, that's pretty much it for our first episode, uh, with the Bahrain Grand Prix, uh, one of ten races for this season, so hopefully by, uh, next episode or uh race number three we will have these uh settings figured out for you guys so um hopefully you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you guys later